Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jason Grenauer with the latest from Denver 7. Fort Collins police say this is the man wanting for exposing himself to several people around CSU. At least three separate incidents involving Wyatt Johnson were reported to police. Officers say he would drive up to people asking for help, and when they approached his car, he would expose himself and that he may be connected to other cases. People living in Stapleton will again be asked if they wish to rename their neighborhood. Students have already successfully changed their school's name from DSST Stapleton to Montview. Now, if you're new to the area, the issue is that Stapleton is named after former Mayor Benjamin Stapleton, a one-time member of the Ku Klux Klan. Voting begins on June 1st and lasts through July 15th, but only property owners can take part. Well, being a firefighter isn't all rushing into burning buildings. Sometimes you get to do the real risky work like rescuing an unhappy looking cat from a tree. It happened today in, nor in the northeast corner of Harvada and inspired South Metro to tweet, quote, we had to pause our scrolling for this cat post. Oh, I just love it. From the First Alert Weather Center, we have a look at your forecast. Warmer at last. That's what it says on Friday with a high of 70 and a nice looking Sunday as well, but then even more storms roll on through at least the saving grace. This time we have some highs in the 70s, so at least it'll be warm even if the rain is coming down, clearing out there again for the later part of the week. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here a little bit later on tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jason Grenauer.